Hello and thank you for watching videos by DPF. This weekend is ARRL's field day for 2016. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the equipment I'm going to be using right after this. I will be operating portable and on solar power. The solar equipment I'll be using is Goal Zero's Yeti 1250 solar generator powered by their Boulder 30 solar panels. Some of the features are it's a 100 amp hour battery, it has three USB ports, three AC outlets, Anderson power poles, and a 12 volt outlet. It is chainable. The one drawback is it does weigh 103 pounds. And you can recharge this either through AC, 12 volt, and of course solar. I'll be using two types of antennas. Hopefully propagation this weekend will be a little more cooperative than it has been of late. First I'm going to be using the Chameleon P-Loop. This is a great antenna for doing portable work because it really only has three pieces to it and is extremely lightweight. The three pieces are the, the tuning box, It is tripod mountable, you just unscrew this fitting. You can put it to any standard tripod mount. Tuning knob. Put your radiator, which is made out of 400 LMR. The LMR 400 coax cable radiator. And the Faraday coupling loop. And it all fits in this nice handy bag. The P loop will cover from 40 to 10 meters and has a power rating of 10 watts on CW and 25 watts on sideband. It takes only a few minutes to set up and is extremely light. I'll also be using the Hybrid Mini, which is also by Chameleon Antenna, along with the Mill Whip, the Mill Whip Extension, and the Counterpoise Kit. I will have it mounted on Chameleon Antenna's tripod, which extends up to 10 feet. This, along with the two whips, is going to give me an overall height of 27 feet 4 inches. I'm not going to go into a lot of details. I already have a video on the Hybrid Mini. But it does cover frequencies 6 meters to 160 meters, and the power it can take is 500 watts on sideband and 250 watts on CW. The radio I'll be using is the ICOM IC7200, along with the ICSM30 desktop microphone. With it, I'm also going to use the LDG IT100 auto tuner. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you've not done so, please subscribe and take a look at some of these other videos. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thanks again.